With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Okay student, let's start this question. Peter sell two watch for rupees 198. Okay, each gain 20% on one and loss 20% on another one, right? So find the gain percentage or loss percentage on the whole. Okay. So Peter have two pens. Okay, two watches, right? Two watches. One is uh, the both are one ninety eight rupees. So selling price is equal to one ninety eight into two because there is two watches, right? So which is equal to three ninety six. Okay, let me make the division part for you, right? So you can easily understand. Right. Right. So, first watch and second watch because there is 20% gain and 20% loss. Right. So, now here both having selling price of 198. Right. Selling price equal to 198. Right, student. Here is the profit of percentage is equal to 20%, right? And here loss percentage is equal to 20%. So, in this case, our CP, which is cost price, is equal to 100 divided by 100 plus profit percentage into selling price and here our cp is equal to 100 by 100 minus loss percentage into selling price right so now it is equal to 100 divided by 120 because our profit is 20 into 198 which is our selling price and here 100 divided by 80 because there is 20 percent loss into 198 which is our selling price right student so now it is equal to 165 and this is equal to zero this will cancel this is 247.5 right student so now in this case by adding this cp1 and cp2 we get total cp total CP is equal to CP1 plus CP2 which is equal to 165 plus 247.5 which is equal to our 412.5 rupees right student so our total CP is here 412.5 right and our original CP Right, if we into we get SP which is selling price is 396, right? And our CP is greater, so it it is clear that we are in loss, right? Because CP is greater than SP, right? So therefore loss occurred, right? So now we have to find the total loss percentage, right? So total loss percentage is equal to total CP minus total SP right divided by our CP which is cost price into 100 right student so it is equal to our total CP is 412.5 minus our SP is here 396 so 396 divided by which is our total CP which is 412.5 multiply by 100 right so it is equal to 4.84 percentage right as we already know that it is loss so our loss percentage is equal to 4.84 84 percentage so this is our final answer which is 4.84
4.84 loss. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.